What's going on guys? It's JVGator17 and today we're going to cover Impact Slam Anniversary that happened last night on July 18th, 2020. Fair warning, I do not watch any Impact, so I'm getting all this information from a website that I'll leave in the description. So to kick off like an overview of the show, so Eddie Edwards and Ace Austin and Trey of the Rascals will be joined by Mystery Competitor in the main event to crown the new Impact World Champion vacated when Tessa Blanchard left the promotion. And then who would emerge from the shadows to earn championship gold? And like, what would the company look after that? Like, what would happen? So Impact has been teasing, apparently, a bunch of stuff regarding former WWE superstars returning or making a debut in Impact following EC3 to Eric Young to the Good Brothers, which are Gallows and Anderson, and Mike Bennett, formerly known as Mike Connells. So Saturday morning, um, Impact teased that the Good Brothers will be signing, which Luke Gallows goes by Big LG, like Big Luke Gallows, and Carl Anderson goes by Machine Gun. So the first match of the evening was the Rascals versus the Motor City Machine Guns. The Motor City Machine Guns won, and I'll show you guys just how they did it. They're waiting on that. Up with the dirt bomb and the Motor City Machine Gun. Your winners, the Motor City Machine Gun. Slam anniversary. We're moving along here with the next match, which was the TNA World Championship match. It was Tommy Dreamer versus Moose. Pretty sure I said that right, but the winner was Moose, and look how that match ended. Moose is setting up, folks. Moose and Moose retains the TNA. So next up on the card, we had a women's match to see who would get a future shot at the knockouts title, which was Smiley Kylie obliterated Valkyrie with a super kick to pick up the win. Also, Heath Miller, formerly known as WWE's Heath Slater, made an appearance in Impact. Here's the video. Work. I told everyone to watch the hell out to make an impact. So I'm telling. So next up on the card, we had the X Division Championship match between Willie Mack and Chris Bay. They won the title, and you guys will see how that worked right now. Art of finesse is X Division champion. Here is your winner. Will this trend? So next up on the card, we had the Impact Tag Team title match between Ken Shamrock and Sammy Callahan versus The North. Probably butchered those guys' names, but Shamrock and Sammy won the titles. Inside the ring. Ken operates better in tag team wrestling than The North champions. Page and Josh Alexander. So the next match on the card was the Knockouts Championship match between Jordan Grace versus Diano Perazzo. And Perazzo defeated Grace to win the title, just like in this clip I'm about to show you. Watch out. Back up. Back down. Armbar. Here we go. Perazzo has the... She tapped up. She quit. She quit. She verbally quit. The Virtuosa. So the final match of the evening was the five-way elimination match for the Impact World title. And to kick stuff off there, we had Eric Young that de delivered a spike pile driver to send Trey packing. Trey is eliminated. So we're going to scroll down. But later after that, Austin and Edwards reclined the rivalry on the top rope. Only for Eric Young to powerbomb Swan Rich Swan, formerly known as Ruby, you'll probably remember if I pull this picture up of him. I'll send them crashing through a table, which is insane. But then, Rich Swan, his neck was wrapped with pain, countered a pile driver into a victory roll up, and eliminated Eric Young. Young is now gone from the match. So then, an uh, angry Eric Young attacked and pummeled the ankle of Rich Swan, wrapped it in a chair, and stomped it mercilessly. 
leaving the baby face crying in pain. And then moving along. After that, what we witnessed of Eric Swan screaming in pain. And then Eric came. And then momentarily after Swan got eliminated, you hear it, Eric yelling, See you around, Rich. You brought this on yourself. He was excited and everything. And then Austin slithered, slithered into the ring like Randy Orton and took advantage of the injured Swan and delivered the fold, which is probably his finisher, for the pinfall. Swan is now gone. So with a fight down to Edwards and Austin, the heel tried to do the fold, but Eddie tossed him into the corner with an overhead suplex. Austin survived. The Boston knee party, to the surprise of the commentary team, Austin finally deserved the fold, but Edwards kicked out. Eddie recovered, delivered another Boston knee party, followed with the diehard for the win and the title. So then Fulton reappeared and attacked Edwards. The Good Brothers interrupted the beatdown. The T is attacking Edwards, but ultimately laid the heels and stood tall with the New World Heavyweight Champion to close the show. That is until three tally marks appeared on the screen. And EC3 appeared out of nowhere. looked more ripped and everything and then he stared into the camera and the camera faded to black and that's gonna do it guys thanks for tuning in for the first ever wrestling show recap results whatever you want to call it with myself i'll be sure to talk to you guys later and remember the system is rigged Come to your